Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer, and I'm continuing my Sussex border walk. And I'm currently standing in Goring on the green sward down at the seafront. And I'm going to be making my way up Alinora, uh, well, round Alinora Crescent, which is uh, one of the roads around here. All of this area was developed in the 1930s. Uh, my dad's house is here, which is up for sale, actually. Um, should hopefully go through <laughs> if everything works out in the next few uh, weeks. Um, and that was built in 1939. Um, I should be heading up towards Cortlands because round here there wasn't a huge amount. You had, um, back in the 30s and, and at the turn of the century, you would have had, uh, I think there was a brook barn which was very close to Alinora Crescent in that area and Sea Place Farm. And the owner of Sea Place Farm was a William Oliver who built a farmhouse at Cortlands in 1820 and it was so named after William de la Corte who I think was a Norman and part of the Normans that uh, either came over during the, um, the invasion of 1066 or one of the descendants of the, the barons there but there's not much down here on the seafront today it's a cold horrible windy um, rainy miserable day we had that yesterday but before I head up to Cortlands and then across to Goring. I just want to show you one of the iconic, um, not only the beach house, but the iconic shelters that people have um, come and taken shelter on such days. This is a place where they do all sorts of uh, interesting things on the sward, on the green sward, from wind um, go-karts, I think, to all sorts of bits and bobs. But these shelters here, very iconic and absolutely lovely. Right, well, I'm not going to hang around uh, today because it's just so goddamn awful weather. But I want to progress this uh, journey westwards. So we'll go up to Cortlands, have a look at that, then get onto the uh, Goring Road and head over to some other interesting and uh, heritage items to have a look at, which hopefully you'll find interesting. So, Parklands Avenue here, which is right in the heart of this development and as you can see a lot of this like so much of Goring are bungalows there are bigger uh, properties quite uh, substantial sized properties and I did have the opportunity to buy my sister out actually um, and live in my dad's property a number of people have said to me why don't you do that Richard but um, it, this isn't for me it's too much of a retirement area and, uh, and people may disagree who live here uh, and it's sort of a bit far away from everything so it's not really for me this is fantastic just as I was arriving at um, Cortlands this lovely lady who was here, I don't know what responsibility she had, but she said it was perfectly fine for me to come in and film. And so she also said I can go and have a look at the back as well. So that's really um, wonderful. So here it is, as you can see, it's a, a beautiful house built in 1906. But as I said before, it was originally a farmhouse here, built by William Oliver of Sea Place Farm and it um, stayed that way until 1906 when Paul Schwader, I think that's how his name is um, pronounced, bought it, extended it and developed it into what we see today. And I gather that he, he here had shooting parties and various events 
it became um, used in the, uh, it was an HQ during the Second World War for the Canadian First Army and later it was part of Worthing Hospital um, that also had it and now in recent years it's been in the hands of a software company and I can see that it's up for leasing at the moment which I think is why I've been given permission to go and have a quick look so let's do that. have to say it's an amazing property absolutely can you and you can imagine the, the parties and the lifestyle that must have gone on here back in the uh, beginning of the 20th century and of course the gardens were very ornamental and and I think went down I believe there's a couple of um, ponds as well it's, that's absolutely brilliant let's go and see what it looks like from the, the south looking up. Amazing building, rooms. Look at these rooms. Paintwork needs desperately doing, of course. And I'm sure it will be done up in due course. But a wonderful place to live. Well, I certainly didn't expect this today, and so that's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much to the people who are looking after Cortland's absolutely stunning building and great to see, particularly in this area. Um, I think with all the, the new buildings from the 1930s, which I suppose is only 20 odd years hence after this was built in the surrounding area. But um, it's lovely to see something of that nature, that style, that um, magnificence. I've taken a somewhat uh, cheeky diversion at the moment and I've come to the English Martyrs Church and inside the church I can't go unfortunately but there is uh, very famously now a copy of the wonderful paintings on the roof of the Sistine, uh, Sistine Chapel, which has been reproduced, I believe, by the artist Gary Bevin. That's not actually why I'm here, because it's Jupp's barn I want to have a look at. As uh, I have encouraged people to send little tidbits of information to me, um, about the journey that I'm doing and people know where I'm going and I'm heading. Um, as I get to places I get these bits of information and the lovely Lee Lawson got in touch and said oh, you've got to go to Jupp's barn and we've got a picture of it before it was uh, restored I believe um, from some period ago. Here it is now but Lee's great 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 three greats grandfather was born in 1838 in the house behind it used to be a farmhouse and the farmer um, who I think was 
may have been George Jupp. He had that as his farmhouse, but he improved his farmhouse and had a different farmhouse. And he gave the farmhouse to the workers and the labourers, which is what uh, George Gates, the great, great, great grandfather of Lee Lawson was, and he was born there. Um, and worked on the land in the area. So I obviously had to come quickly, hot-footing it over here to have a look at this amazing barn. This is an amazing barn, I have to say. Look at these, look at these tiny, tiny little windows here that they've got in, in the wall, in the, in the flint wall. And of course, they've got glass in them now. They probably wouldn't have had glass at all. Um, in fact, it's most unlikely that they didn't. And the reason that they're so small is that they could keep air coming into the barn, but not great loads of um, wind. And the farmhouse that George Gates was born in back in 1838 would have been just at the back here. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's all new builds. And when I say new builds, I mean more recent than 1838. <laughs> yes. So that's sort of my walk for today. I will go back down to the Goring Parade because there's a 400 year old farmhouse to have a look at. There is the house that Richard Jeffries, the author who wrote about uh, rural affairs at the, at the end of um, the 19th century. And there's some other bits and bobs to look at too. So I hope you'll join me for that. And fingers crossed, the weather just improves a little bit whilst I'm out filming. But from here at Jupp's Barn, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Become a patron, support what I do, and help me put diesel in the, in the van and keep up this circular walk. <laughs> Take care, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. <laughs>